We've been having a bit of a barney in the Farmers Weekly offices about which is the ultimate farm vehicle. So I've agreed to meet up with Ollie today to show him that the Land Rover Discovery is the ultimate combination between practicality and luxury. If we're talking about the ultimate farm vehicle, then surely you can look no further than American Muscle, which is why I've gone for the Ford Ranger. In particular, it's the Wild Track version. It's got all the bells and whistles and 3.2 litres of American brute force. He doesn't stand a chance. Well, it's unlike Ollie to be late. Hang on a second. Oh my word, what the f is that? Here we are, we found him. Looks like he spent a bit of cash. Well, well, well. Looks like the fairgrounds in town. Someone's come into a bit of money. Does Mrs. Phone know about this little luxury? I always said you were a bit of a chav. <sighs> you don't like it. Seriously, mate, you are well out of touch. You'd have to be potty to spend, what's that, 50,000 pounds? 52. <laughs> That's about double the price of mine. What he hasn't thought of is the fact that under here, I've got a nice V6 diesel, and this puppy will tow three and a half tons no trouble at all. Ooh, not so hasty, sunshine. I'm only 100 kilos shy on the towing front and 3.2 litres under that bonnet. Not Mickey Mouse at all. Hang on a second, mate. I want to show you something. This is about as simple as a gearbox gets. Look at that. You just twiddle the knob and you set off. And should I want it, I've got flappy paddles like a Ferrari, but to be honest with you, I'm never going to use it in manual mode because it's so silky smooth in auto. That's all tasty stuff, mate, but once again, you're forgetting the everyday worker who likes a manual box, which is why I get the choice of both with the Ranger, auto or manual. Your choice. Okay, mate. Well, if it's so great, let's have a go. And then. Well, mate, I think that speaks for itself, doesn't it? The, uh, you were laughing about the disco having all its toys, its beachside settings, its mud and ruts, its sand and Sahara. But actually, I think that proves it. It just sailed through there compared I to think... this thing struggling away. You might say that, but on an exceptional year, maybe. But how often are you going to be going through ruts like that? Day to day, this will do just nicely, thank you. Especially when I'm saving 22,000. Well. Seeing as I'm not paying today, 
I think I'll stick with the disco things. I've got to be honest, don't tell Ollie this, but um, he's got a point really. These, um, well, any of these pickups now, they're, they're the proper farm workhorse really. And you can see, just sitting here in this Ranger, how far the pickups have come. They're no longer this sort of uncomfortable, sort of, you compromise on uh, comfort in terms of practicality. This thing has got all the toys on it really that you'll need. And, um, you know, it's interior, you can see it's going to stand up a lot better than that of the Discovery. Phony gets a few things right, but on this occasion he's hit the nail on the head. The transmission and the air suspension make for a pretty unbeatable ride, and you get about the same deal as a Range Rover. The thing is, you do pay through the nose for it.